I know I've seen Mega Man plug and play consoles before, but I was intrigued when I saw this. Just a little box. And it doesn't really show you what's inside. I don't know what this thing looks like, what the controller is. It was just a little Mega Man 2 box. Is there more than just Mega Man 2 on here? I don't know. But I saw this at the grocery store Aldi. I have not been to an Aldi and man, it's probably been close to a couple years. But I, I went there looking for something and I saw this on a uh, shelf, clearanced out, and I was like, yo, $11, I, I'm, I'm going to risk it. Let's check this thing out. But yeah, just a little box. Mega Man 2 for ages 5 and up. If you're under 5, you ain't allowed to play. But yeah, there's not a lot going on here. It's a neat looking box, kind of, you know, not the, the best looking print as far as the graphics go. But it's neat looking. Interesting. So yeah, the only thing really it tells you here doesn't like what is a controller? How does this work? It's three double A says you know they recommend not using rechargeable. And then for the true retro feel, play it on a CRT. So uh, my assumption, I'm sure I'm correct, is that it has a uh, you know composite you know plugs for the uh, video. And then that's it. Mega Man Two from uh, it says MSI Entertainment. I'm sure it says yeah Capcom licensed for use with MSI. And then just, I'm not going to read all that. But yeah, he's back. And this time, the evil Dr. Wily uh, has created even more robots. So that's, we're going to check this thing out, man. Maybe we'll be surprised. Uh, probably not. I do have that, that little LCD TV that I did a video on the other day. A little 4.3 LCD. We're going we're gonna to plug this thing into it. Uh, it kind of healed itself a little bit with those damaged looking pixels still kind of bad but not as bad as it was when i first took a look at it so this is what we got okay so they just reduced the packaging it looks like uh because i i've seen this before i've seen this in like walmart's look at this big ass wow and the fake freaking screws on there this thing is light did I just pay $11 just for Mega Man 2? Mono audio. We ain't even getting stereo here. 2023, screw you guys. That's it, just there's not much going on here. Controlling Mega Man, yeah, hey, kind of neat. It does show some, uh, you know, the, 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 the robot masters there. That's cool. Eh, yeah, neat. Okay, so we do have to put these batteries in here and we got to unscrew that. Let's check this thing out. I've, I've seen this before, but I've, I've never used it. So, uh, you know, maybe I'm in for a surprise. Maybe you guys haven't used one of these. Maybe you've seen it. Like who in their right mind is really buying stuff like this? Like I bought it just on the whim, you know, hey, I can make a video on it share it with you guys, but who's really buying this? Especially if it's just Mega Man 2. Like, that's crazy, man. And my assumption is, is that's all that's on here, and that kind of sucks. But I know I've seen this, like, layout in, like, a, a box where you could see the actual controller in the box. But, yeah, there you go. Mega Man 2. All the stickers and everything. Where's the power? Oh, power's up here. On and off. Start button. And then A and B. These don't feel too horrible. Very hollow feeling though. Okay, little little light down there. Let's plug this thing in and check it out. And it's like the cable's maybe like six feet long. This, this cable's not crazy long. So like how I have it set up right now, that's pretty much how you would do it. Like you're not gonna be in your living room with your couch like 10 feet away. You're gonna be sitting on the floor right in front of the TV. All right, let's check this thing out. Capcom, MSI Entertainment, licensed for use by MSI. That's all it is, son of a bitch. Mega Man 2, I just bought Mega Man 2. <laughs> all right, we gotta open this thing up too. Let's just check this out real quick. Let's see what it looks like on the inside. Oh my God. Wow, all right. Is this just an NES on a chip with one game on it? 
Like, you know, these fools, man. They could have put all six NES Mega Mans on here. And they, they really wouldn't have had to do anything. Like, it wouldn't have cost them any extra besides the licensing. Yeah, I, I'm- this- this is definitely- I don't think this is being emulated. I think this is just straight up NES on a chip. Oh my god. The buttons aren't bad, but the stick is like... It, it feels like this stick, it gets stuck and I can't move or like... I don't- I don't know. It feels like there's... There's micro switches in here, but it's like it's dipping down to to touch them. I don't know. It's kind of it's a, it's a weird feeling. Like the buttons, I don't have a a big issue with, but this this stick that they're using, I I don't like it. It just doesn't feel it doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel responsive. It feels like it's misregistering on occasion, but just the way it's designed. Is it worth modding just for Mega Man 2? Putting in a better stick? Okay, well, I mean, we just got one game on here. Let's open this thing up. Let's see what makes this thing tick. My, I, I'm pretty sure it's just a NES on a chip. Let's do it. Okay, so it was just four screws. I've taken them out. Let's see what's on the inside now. Okay. Here's the little, wow. You got hot glue all up in there? Nice. Now you just got that big uh, blob on the chipset there. Yeah, th this has to be just a uh, little NES on a chip with everything just kind of incorporated there. It doesn't seem like it's, uh, you know, it would be, I think it would be more expensive to make this an emulation device than to have it an NES on a chip. That essentially, if you could figure it out, you could probably, like, add ROMs or, you know, you could, I'm not, I'm not a rocket scientist here, but I would assume if you were deep into this crap, you could, like, wire up a cartridge to this board somehow and just load up games. Like you could probably like figure out a way to add a cartridge slot and then just boot into your games. Like pop in a cartridge and, and play. That's that's my assumption. You could do that. I'm assuming a lot, but I'm pretty damn sure like you could if 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 you knew what you were doing. If you went to NES school, NES clone school in China, you would figure it out. Oh my god, that's that's all it is. You got these mem. The, the <laughs> they just. <laughs> it's a D pad. It's a giant D pad. You got up, down, left, right. You got your membranes with the contacts there. Hitting those, and then this. You have this like restrictor type thing with the the uh, a spring underneath it. I could see that. There's like a spring under there, and it just you just rock. That's it. That's why when I was looking at the top, I was like, it's dipping down and like at an angle to register the buttons. It's not hitting it, it almost because you could kind of when you look at the top, it, you could see the white post. So it almost looked like, oh, maybe there's a micro switch there, but it doesn't feel like it. Um, but that's what I was seeing. But yeah, it, it's coming down at an angle to hit those pads. So that's why I was having like weird uh, you know, with things registering weirdly and whatnot. Look at that. What the heck? This is funny. Kind of neat. I'll hold on to this. You know, put it on the shelf, I guess. Little tiny NES here. That's cool. Let me know what you guys think. Appreciate y'all watching. Bye.